this very matter don't they long <laughs> this very matter don't they long us may designate nigerian state sponsor of narcotics trafficking over tenable's drug crimes in chicago lawyer this matter don't they long us they tell us say now if we allow tenable enter if we allow tenable enter they go to see nigeria's country where they sponsor drug drugs so i know say drugs now very big prohibited crime for the whole world don't worry make you wait for me i will tell you now what in this the consequences where this thing will cause us if they begin to if they tag nigeria as a drug country what's up ladies and gents of course now my usual language but this time i want you speak in it if not the first time you they come across the tank cry i beg make you help us subscribe in case this is your first time this video carry you come i beg subscribe the subscription button is free and fair as long as you press some press that red subscribe button you don't become member of this channel no be you no need to pay now free and fair you no be like i make my mood we do uh, 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 non free and fair election, no? and again, I beg make you help us like this video because the more they like, the more other subscribers. Whenever I subscribe to this channel, go free help see this video and they go come subscribe to May God bless you as you do so. Oh, well, yeah, now make we hop into the, the news of tonight. Now, there are consequences of a country be seen as a drug sponsoring country, you cannot recover from it. Number one. Anywhere Nigerian passport is seen, it will be rejected, it will be aborted. Number two, you cannot, companies cannot work with you. International companies, whether you are in US, whether you are in, in Ghana, whether you are in America, whether you are in Canada, whether you are in Australia, you are in Austria, you are in France, Zimbabwe, any country you find yourself. And once the, con once the company comes to work with you and they say you are from Nigeria, that ends it that job will not work again they won't uh, 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 work with you everything will go down the drain that is when you will know that the u.s states have begun to sanction nigeria because some of you that didn't understand uh somebody told me that he has never left lagos she has never left lagos since they gave birth to her and i was like wow i was gonna call i said you've never left lagos before no wonder when they carry this Lagos matter for her. Do not ever travel. If you travel, you will know the consequences of putting a drug lord into power. And that is what so many Nigerians want to make in the name of I want to vote for my brother. I want to vote for my sister. It doesn't work like that, my dear. It is high time every every everyone understands how this thing is done. It is high time. Let's leave our selfish interests. And partake in the needful because by the time the US designate Nigerian state sponsor of narcotics trafficking do you know what it means to be traff what do you know what what it means to be a trafficker a whole nation is known as tra uh, uh, they are known for drug trafficking you, you don't you don't you don't you 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 are yet to understand the consequences you are not talking about us you may say i may use this get out may it come out but guy companies will start withdrawing themselves not just in nigeria but from those who are nigerians when you present yourself you present you you have to go extra mile i have friends who are into um what's it called who are outside the country before they left they said they said to me see we find it difficult i'm a good person i'm a good person i am more brilliant than those some africans that are giving certificate or visa to travel out but because of i carry nigerian passport it is difficult it is difficult in nigeria in, in buhari steno Imagine when what it will not look like when Tinubu and you know that your leaders doesn't don't care. When Tinubu enters, he can fly out anytime, any day. And that was why one of the biggest television, I think in Canada or Spain, they said Nigeria had just elected a drug lord. 
as their president. Hey, you know how shameful it is. Somebody will look at you and say, where are you from? You say, you're from Nigeria. Who is your president? He's a drug lord. Do you know how shameful that could be? Do you, do you know how painful that could be? Do you know? Do you know how painful that could be? And that is why we are advising everyone. Let us continue to do what we know how to do best. Protest on Twitter, protest online, protest offline. A drug lord cannot be our leader. You have a drug lord as the president. You have a terrorist uh, sympathizer as the vice president. Now, an ex-convict wants to contest for Senate president. Hey, my God. An ex-convict, as Oju Zakalo, want to contest for Senate president. What crime has Nigerians committed? Because of your tribalism, because of your religious bigotries, some of you have sold your conscience to the devil, and that is where we come in. One of the biggest efforts must be made. one of the biggest efforts must be made and i'm advising you because nigeria the us are beginning to reveal they are beginning to reveal this if ever you people allow bola maintaining becomes your president sorry you sorry you pray say the no go do something way back to you pray -o. Because you're not gonna, you're not just gonna suffer as a Nigerian in your own country. But you're gonna suffer as a Nigerian even outside your own country. It will be said that it is only Nigerians that don't have their own country. It is only Nigerians that don't have a Nigeria. It is only Nigeria that does not have its citizen. Today you touch a Yoruba man, he says he's from Odudua. You touch an Asama, he tells you that he's from Iowa. You touch an Igbo man, he says he's from Biafra. Everybody has refused to agree that there is a country called Nigeria. So the worst of it all is that we know you've traded your destiny in part one. Please, do not trade it part two. Because you don't know the kind of effort so many Nigerians are making in diaspora. Instead of working just six hours or five hours a day, they, they just work like 18 hours because they bear the name Nigeria. It is high time we talk to ourselves. I love you guys and thanks for always supporting us. Peace out.